Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 as England. Last time we left off, we annexed uh, Brittany, which caused quite a coalition, as you can see. Uh, I'm actually pretty concerned about that because I may be allied with Spain and Portugal, but their armies are fairly limited compared to the coalition. Uh, let's see. I have the, the second largest army in the world after Muscovy. And then, you know, there's Austria that's in the coalition. There's the Papal State that's in the coalition. And then all of the uh, sort of minor nations that are also in it as well. I'm getting Facebook messages. I also meant to start my timer, which I didn't do. So give me a moment to do that. There we go. Uh, and I think the best thing I can do is just build more troops in the hopes that that sort of uh, deters uh, some, side, some type of war. So that's 15,000 uh, troops I can build. Let's get a new template for that. Um, I'd like at least 10 infantry. Or maybe 10 infantry is a little bit too much. Let's get eight, three, and four. There you go. Scotland wants another marriage. Whatever, I guess. I, I was, I've been ignoring it for the longest time, but it's not a big deal. Uh, some Breton separatists. I really should have increased uh, autonomy. Let's do that. It's a little too late now, but oh well. I'm gonna actually move my troops up to the lowlands over here. Because Austria has a sizable army right there, and if they declare war on me, probably the best thing to do would be to immediately jump on that army there. Oh fuck, they actually just declared war on me, holy shit. Uh, this isn't good. Okay, so my boys uh, in Iberia are with me in the war. Um, I really hope uh, Portugal doesn't have only 5,000 troops. They have 16,000. I just don't know where the rest of them are. Okay. So this is actually like a really big deal. Holy shit. Uh, let's get another general. Ooh. A lot of fire in that general. Okay. I don't think I can jump on that army uh, because the reinforcements would just be too much. So I'm going to pull back a little bit. Okay, let's keep converting England here. Let's go for uh, marches or marche. So that's a big fucking stack. I don't really know where to defend because we don't have any mountains. All the mountains are in uh, southeastern France. We could pull all the way back into Spain. Uh, but chances are Spain is going to get their army involved and they're going to do something really stupid. So, um, it wouldn't really be efficient to do that. Okay, let's bring these guys down here as well. Basically, oh fuck, why? Yeah, Naples is involved and so they're just going to fuck up Naples. Uh, it's show superiority, right? Yeah. And they, they have currently won 100% of the battles, so that's not good. Show superiority, basically. Win 80% of the battles, and you get ticking war score. Where is Portugal's army? Oh, it's probably here. So 
So I have two, four, six, and then 15,000 more. I have 75,000 troops. Uh, revolt in Shetland. It's a religious revolt. There's nothing I can do about that. Not right now, anyway. Scotland is uh, dropping off their troops, probably, in likely the, the worst possible place. But whatever. What can you do? We can't even blockade these forts uh, effectively. Um, maybe if I get my trade ships down here. Yeah, stop trading. Okay, so we're going to have to jump on this army as soon as possible. Let's move all the units down this way. Because that is a juicy 8 stack that is just asking for the dick. And a battle is a battle. In, in this type of war, uh, battles are king. And see, we, we actually just stack wiped that army. Uh, so that is a huge help in this type of war. Um, we are outnumbered in basically every way, except navally. Navally speaking, we have a clear edge. But this, this death ball uh, up here is, is something that I just can't deal with. And that's really one of the problems. Uh, Spain is probably going to go do something stupid, as usual. Uh, because that's just what the AI does. So I'm going to do my best here to get more troops. Oh shit. I knew they were going to do this. But honestly, it's just a battle that we can't avoid, I don't think. Okay, we're definitely going to lose this battle. Retreat. That was a battle we could not afford to actually have. <laughs> Oh, I knew it was going to be a loss. I shouldn't have gone in in the first place. I didn't really lose that much manpower because I retreated so early. That's an 11k stack. I think we can deal with that. Okay, maybe not. Uh oh, what am I doing here? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, th our whole army is basically in this battle. If they bring in any reinforcements, I don't think we can win. Okay. We did win! Huzzah! Let's try to grab these guys here. Okay. We only got one stack, but... That was a, that was a decent battle. I wouldn't say it was necessarily good. It was decent. A big problem is that we are going to run out of manpower very fast. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to make some type of piece here where I give up something and I don't know what that something is gonna be Another church power, uh, let's give myself something military here uh, Our manpower recovery speed, that's what we need
think uh, sort of what we need to do is piece out some of the smaller dudes in here. Is Champagne in the war? No. Okay, who's in the war? So, Lorraine, Liège. I'm, I'm just looking at the, the sort of tiny nations that we might be able to kick out of the war. <clears throat> the the uh, Papal State will be not easy at all to, to kick out. So, have we won a majority of the battles? I think so. Okay, we might actually be able to use these mountains to our own advantage here. We'll have to see. I might move an army to go siege it. I'm gonna just jump in here to see if there's... Okay, it doesn't look like there's any enemy armies, really. Shit, I, I left an army up there. So the idea is that they attack us in the mountains. Because it would be a mountains uh, battle and a river crossing. I don't care if Scotland loses opinion of me. I'm about to annex them. Well, that means I will also inherit the rebels, which is no good. Okay, what the fuck? What happened? Oh, probably because they sieged uh, Naples here. That's some bullshit. Integration's a slow process. Yeah, we inherited the rebels. Wonderful. Too few seats in parliament. It's okay, Lothian. You have a seat now, buddy. Is that enough? I need ten. Fuck off. Nineteen development actually is not bad. Uh, where do I put it? Let's just put it in Fief. Okay, you know what? We're, we're making tons of money. Uh, I believe that I can afford to get some mercenaries. It, I'm basically just going to be making solid uh, infantry mercenaries for the most part. How many am I making? Yeah, 10 should be fine. Because I have literally zero manpower. <laughs> Gather these guys up. Actually, still technically making a profit, which is not what I intended. Okay, let's get like two cavalry in there. Holy fuck. There's just so many troops. And I don't think they're they're like they're basically making negligible attrition. Austria has pretty much the same force num number as I do, but they still have some manpower. I might be able to start whittling them down once they don't have any more manpower, but until that happens, uh, I'm fucked. <laughs> Let's 
kill those rebels. Okay, what the fuck? I need. I really, really hope Spain doesn't do something stupid, even though I know they're going to. Oh no. Okay, I gotta go help them. Cause they're gonna lose that fucking battle. Oh, they actually won't lose that battle. Nice work. Oh shit, they're locked in at, at Co. Run, boys, run! Nice, another battle won. That actually gave us a lot of war score. And you know what? Oh, shit. Because Paris is uh, a fort. Yeah, that, that, that's, that army's blocked off, unfortunately. trying to take back Paris because it's probably giving them a lot of war score okay where's my trade fleet okay I got this fleet from Scotland and here's my trade fleet Locked in. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Yeah, they're fucked. Alright, the largest uh, army group that we have left here will lead the siege. Oh, or the one with the most artillery, anyway. Okay, let's catch the, these guys. Fuck off. Okay, we can fully siege that, no problem. Okay. Sure, missionary strength, that'll help. What else do we convert? Norfolk. Let's go. I gotta bring these mercs over. I didn't really have to recruit them in the UK, but... Uh, or England, I guess I should say. But... Uh, I just had the most space there and, and the least danger of them being killed. Okay, let's let's leave two armies here instead. And pull two more out. In fact, in fact what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna merge them and consolidate. And do the same with this group. Merge and consolidate. And let's get some more mercenaries. Because now we have a big gap in our troop count. Okay, they're gonna definitely, definitely attack us. Uh, no doubt about it. Why can't. Can I really not move this army? Okay, get the fuck out of there. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that they're uh, gonna attack us here. <sighs> what would what, 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 what would they want? Fucking everything! Holy shit! Well, 58 war score. What is it exactly? I'd release Burgundy. Oh fuck that! I'd give Flanders their cores back. I'd release Alencon. 
Yeah, you can shove that up your ass. Fuck. Wait, this is actually really bad. Can I avoid this battle? No. I can't fucking see what's going on. Come on, Spain. Spain! Spain! No! Spain! Please! Spain, please! Please! You fucking son of a bitch! You were right there, you f Oh! Ah, we would have lost the battle. Anyway. Alright, maybe I should consider peace here. Oh, fuck. Now they won't... Because they won the... Mm. Wait, signing a separate peace? Dude, I'm the war leader. Okay, release nations. I'd only be giving Burgundy two provinces. It's Guyenne that I really don't want to release. What the fuck? Why is this worth so much war score? Hold on. So if I say I'll release Picardy, oh I see. But if I say Burgundy and Picardy, I release three provinces total, which on on its own, Picardy would be getting released anyway with all three of these. But it's worth way more. So can I avoid returning those cores? Because that's what I'm doing. Right? I'm, I'm returning these to Flanders. Right? Is that not what this says? No. No, no. Burgundy. And Picardy. Yeah, that's it. Then what the fuck are these? I, I don't know. Uh... I'm releasing three provinces for 74 war score. I mean, they're valuable, but it's not like the end of the world or anything. Sure, I'll, I'll go. I'll go with this, because that's all I'm losing, uh, besides some prestige. That really was not that bad. Okay, let's gather all of our troops here. No, no, let's gather them in Paris. Picardy wants an alliance? Do you have cores? Yeah, they have cores. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna accept that alliance. I'm gonna peacefully vassalize these guys. Uh, royal marriage. All that shit, baby. Because we're gonna vassalize them. And then I'm going to feed them th this shit here. Because I, I don't really feel like re -core Well, I guess I I don't give up my cores on it, do I? No, I do! Well, that's some lame shit. Okay, well, we're way ahead in military tech. Too few rivals. Who else can I rival? Sure, let's rival Lithuania. Why not? Uh, Milan, you want an alliance, buddy? Ooh, they do. Alright, the 
detach the trade ships and send them to the English Channel. I know we had some trade ships outside of the English Channel, but they weren't really doing anything for me. So detach the mercenaries and disband them. Uh, when you lose territory, uh, now you get like this huge bonus to. Oh, I don't. I didn't really lose. Uh... I don't, like I don't really get a huge bonus or anything. Oh, shit! Holy fuck, that's a lot of rebels. I should have kept those mercs. Ooh. Mercantilism. Alright. Uh, it's time to make a cut in here. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed my video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.